Hi, Jason here. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can train ChatGPT on your own company's data. And the data can actually be in any form. So you can do PDFs, Word documents, uh, even YouTube videos, basically anything you've ever created in terms of a document or a video or an audio. We can put it into ChatGPT have ChatGPT learn all about our business and all the information that we give it, and then use that to create a chatbot that we can then interact with ourselves, have our company employees interact with to learn, or we can put it on our website to act as a live chat support agent. So this is a really important video. You've got to watch this till the end because I've done an awful lot of research on this. And you can code this. There is a way to, to, to actually build this using code and databases and all of that complicated stuff. But I found a much easier solution. But first of all, let me show you the previous video solution that I did to this and why it works to a degree, but not to the degree that you will want. So the first thing I did in the last video to train ChatGPT was to get you to take content, say from your website or any other piece of content, it could be from a Google Doc or whatever, and you can copy the content. You can then paste that into ChatGPT like this. And then you can say, you know, create me this or create me that from that content. So I'll just give an example right now. Create a social media post about the content above that I can send out on Facebook to promote my website, Fast Funnels. Okay, so there we go. So that's that's how you can use existing content to do stuff with. Um, there it is, and now it's created that that post in record time. So I'm not used to seeing how fast GPT 3.5 is compared to 4. It's, it's crazy. Um, and so you've got all your hashtags in there and everything else. And it used that content uh, that you gave it to do something with. But we can take it to a whole new level by uh, using this software that I found. And I've tried a whole bunch of these, and a lot of them, I think they were too early. And they're not quite there yet. There's a lot of bugs and faults. I think some of them are very expensive. But this one I tried, and there's a link underneath this video, is called customgpt.ai. Now, I think the, the, the paid plan is about $49. I can't, I'm going to bring it up actually. Let me just see if we can just get that up because I want to um, show you exactly how much it costs. But you've got to see this. J uh, where are we? Let's get that up. Custom GPT AI. Custom GPT dot AI. And then we'll just get their site up and go straight to pricing just so we know. Yeah, $49 a month for three chatbots, a thousand pages, uh, 10 million words of content and 500 queries a month. So that's the pricing. It's really not an expensive product for what it does and what it can do for you. So I've, out of a, a sort of a trial, if you like, I decided to see if I could make a chatbot on all of the information contained on my website, which is fastfunnels.com here. This is a, a website and funnel builder. So there's a lot of information. There's a lot of pages on my site. And in fact, if I click on the site map, we can see there's all these pages here. Now with custom uh, GPT here, you can submit a sitemap from your website and then it will just spider the entire lot over a period of time, not, not crazy quick so it doesn't blast your site with tons of queries, grabbing all the content and everything. But like over an hour, it'll go through like the whole lot. I did three pages worth here. Look at all these pages that it's grabbed the content from. And once it's done that, uh, we can then use a chatbot. And here is like the chatbot built within the site for the moment for you to kind of test it. And you're able to go and add in uh, other things like uh, the actual questions that you want to have preset. Like I've put, how much does Fast Funnels cost? Do you have any templates we can use? Standard questions that your customers will probably be asking, and then they can just click a button to ask it instead of typing it out. You can, you can choose how your chatbot looks. You can upload a photo of yourself. You can change the background image here. And then you've got uh, settings right there where you can choose, does the 
um, the actual bot work from just your data, so your content, or does it work from your content plus the help of ChatGPT? And it's using uh, GPT-4 as well, so it's using uh, the best model, so you're getting really good responses. You can choose your chatbot language from all of these. There's an absolute load of them there as well. And then uh, you've got your conversational settings and then your, your uh, user experience right here. And there it is. So this is now working off all the data that it's managed to get from scouring my website sitemap. And I can type in things like, um, well, like, well, let's just do one of these. That's right here. I've just clicked on that. How much does Fast Funnels cost? And then it says, hang in there, I'm thinking. And then it starts from just $29 per month. And the person who's typing that out can also click this little button here to see um, where it got that information from. And it's got it from like uh, some of the blog posts, actually. Um, then if we go to uh, back to here, new conversation, we can ask it other things. Uh, let's click on one of the preset ones there as well. Do you have any templates? I've never pressed this, so I have no idea what it's going to say, but we do have templates. We've got hundreds of templates. There we go. So yes, there are numerous templates available for various purposes, such as lead generation, sales, online stores, and more. You can choose from these templates and customize them to match your brand. Additionally, there are pre-built email templates that you can use for your email marketer campaign. So that is exactly right. And I would be more than happy. And it's showing again, all the sources of where it got this from. I'm, I'm more than happy to have that displayed like on my site to help a customer. So that works really, really good. Um, so that's how you can do that. But what I really was impressed about with this, yes, you can spider your entire website, but maybe you've got, like I say, got a ton of PDFs or documents that you have on uh, your local computer that you want it to be able to use. So if we go, I think it's the settings here and data, there we are. I've added a sitemap. You can see the sitemap that I've added there. Also here, you've got the upload files, and this is what I love. Like, so you can upload a crazy amount of files, uh, PDFs, docs, zips, even zips. Uh, maximum file size is 20 megabytes, and then the total batch size is one gig. So you can literally drop 50 files in there at once, and it will go through the whole lot and put them into that central informational database that allows the chatbot to work from. Uh, and then data retention, it, it was saying there about privacy and security, um, keep for viewing and results or delete immediately after processing. So in other words, you can upload into this central database and then just remove it from this dashboard so you can't see it all. And it's, it's just worked very, very effectively. But for me, one of the most impressive things about this is the amount of data that you can put in from different sources. But also when I asked the founder about putting YouTube videos in, um, he said that that's absolutely possible. So I tried it. And if it's not, obviously it's not in your sitemap. And at the moment you can't like drag and drop one in. So here we can upload files, but we can't, we can't kind of paste in a URL of a YouTube video or something. So he gave me a link to a free sitemap generator, which is right here. And I'll put a link to this underneath as well for you. And I just dropped in three of my YouTube videos just here. Let's go and have a look at the actual video so you can see it's just genuine like YouTube video link. Um, this one I think is about, uh, here we go, chat GBT becomes your teacher. Let's just skip that. So it's talking all about how you can use chat GPT to learn from. So I decided to drop that into this sitemap and some others. So now, technically speaking, the entire transcript from that video, all of that useful content that I put out is now available in the chatbot uh, in here because I uploaded it to the sitemap. I added the sitemap. Here you can see it just there. There's the sitemap. And then I, I just said save. And then before you know it, if we go to pages, there are the three YouTube videos you can see and the status of which it's been crawled and indexed. So this has got so many uses, but let's try out the actual chatbot in a site and I'll show you, I'll show you what you can do with it. So if we go to chatbot uh, and sharing, here we go. So you've got a link there now that you could send to anyone, like a member of staff or something, that they could then just use the chatbot on its own. 
so they don't have to you know be on a particular page somewhere on a site or anything they can just click on that and then interact with the chatbot asking questions then we can embed it into our website and you can see you can choose the width and the height and everything of the box that goes into the page. And then we can have like a live chat on our site. And I'm going to try this one out. Also, they have API as well. So you can literally have an API key and interact with the chatbot, which could be very useful if you've got other systems that you work with. But we're going to just take this. We'll take this code and I'm going to try and drop this onto a page here on my site on Fast Funnels. And we'll go to my settings. I would go to custom code in this instance. I'll go to the page head markup and then I'll just paste in this code just there. There's their, their kind of code that they use. I'll click save. And then if I go and preview this page in theory, fingers crossed, there should be a little chat. There it is. And there's the little guy. And if I click on him right now, let's just get rid of the Facebook chat for a moment. There we go. So there's this is how our chat bot looks. And then I can type in there if I want to. And then I can also pick from these pre-made questions like we showed earlier. So let's just ask something that is totally not one of these questions about the platform. And I'll say, um, I'll just say something silly that's very easy and obvious just for the demonstration here. Can you create a sales funnel with fast funnels? There we go. Let's test that out. Hang in there. I'm thinking we'll get rid of all these little bits and bobs. We've got Quillbot all over the place. Don't know if I can get rid of it very easy. Here we go. Yes, you can create a sales funnel with fast funnels. It offers a simple drag and drop interface and hundreds of templates to help you build and optimize your digital product sales funnel. Here, I'll drag it in a bit. Um, provides the tools, training and support for both beginners and experienced marketers to succeed in building sales funnels. So that I'm really happy with that answer, you know, couldn't have done better. And then it tells you all the different um, the different sources on my site that it's come from. It's come from the main the main page there and some of my blog posts, actually. But I've got complete control over where the data comes from. Um, remember, so um, if I just say I'll just say another question here. How much do all the uh, pricing plans cost? Let's try that out. We'll see how well it's digested all the information because it would have gone over the pricing page, too. So here are the pricing plans for the various platforms mentioned in the context. OK, so what it's done here, it's used it's used the blog posts, which perhaps I wouldn't normally index, to be honest with you, because it's talking about other platforms like that I've mentioned within those blog posts like ClickFunnels, Kartra, Kajabi, Teachable. Um, basically every other every other platform you can think of except fast funnels so far so I definitely would be careful as to what um, what information you put into your chatbot because obviously if you're using this for a customer facing thing oh finally it's done fast funnels there we go so I wouldn't include the blog posts or I would omit those blog posts from the sitemap when I put it in so that it gave the best answer uh, for my customers, which would just be to give the answer of uh, the fast funnels pricing, obviously, and not all the rest. Although, of course, we are cheaper than all the rest. So it's probably not a bad thing, I suppose, in terms of contrasting our prices together. But that, that is a, a really, really useful tool. And I think so many people have been looking to train ChatGPT on all their own data. But when push came to shove until very recently, it would have meant, you know, hiring coders, doing, you know, database work, all of that complicated stuff. This took me like, well, it took me minutes to set up. And then it just took a little while for this system to go and scour all of my pages that I just dropped in the sitemap without checking what was on it and let it do its business. And so you think when you're uploading, like maybe you've got like an online course and you want to upload all of the content from that course and just make the chatbot available to your members of the course, which is something I'm going to be doing too then this is this is going to be gold. I mean, you're going to be able to charge extra for things because they're going to be able to 
interact with that chatbot to find out any information or about anything you've ever said within the training and the course. So from, from an educational point of view, this is going to be brilliant. And I only see this getting better. I mean, this is this is still a fairly early days platform, I can see. However, it is really good. I got very fast support when I asked a question. And then you can see you can create different projects. So that was Fast Funnels. I could do a new one now, um, let's say for chat uh, GPT school. So that is uh, HTTPS chatgptschool.com. This is an online course. And then I'll just put in my sitemap dot xml and then call it call it chat gpt school and then we'll click create project so now there's your dashboard straight away and then what we what we'll do is we'll go to view the pages there you go so it's it's queuing up the testimonials terms privacy and the main domain there isn't many pages on this because it really is a, a, just a sales funnel and then I, I would say definitely within about half an hour to an hour, all of these would have been crawled. And then again, we go to our chatbot. And when it's ready, you'll be able to just start creating your customized chatbot that will have read all those pages, understand it, and then be able to interact with anyone who uses that chatbot. So this this is by far the, the most simple way that I found to be able to create this uh, interactive chatbot with all of your own data, not have ChatGPT come in and, and mess things up and have people be able to, uh, you know, end up going off down uh, rabbit holes that are nothing to do with your data or your business. So really important. If you found this useful, please do like and subscribe. And if you're into ChatGPT, AI, automation, then you've got to come and check out this free group that I've set up. We've got now uh, 4.3 thousand members. There's always people online and they're really good at posting up-to-date information. It's like we've got 4,000 odd eyes out there in the AI world who are just constantly saying, hey, have you seen this? Have you seen that? Have you seen this other new software? Have you seen this other new ChatGPT feature, whatever? And it's all coming in here. So it's a great place to go for a daily check-in and just to uh, see what's going on in the world of AI. And you can find the link to this underneath the video and for a custom chat, or cu sorry, custom GPT.AI, there's a link underneath this video as well, if you want to um, try it out. And I think you'll find, um, as I have, that it's, it's very, very good, works well, simple to use, and um, is very reliable. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much. I hope it's helped you to Train ChatGPT on your own data and I'll see you in the next video in just a minute.